Well, another giant step perhaps when it comes to exploring the surface of the moon. Just before 3.30 today, a private spacecraft launched on a SpaceX rocket landed on the lunar surface, bringing with it both lots of research tools and the hopes of a nation fascinated by Earth's original satellite. Our business and tech reporter Scott Bedman shows us what this mission is all about. It's the first U.S.-built spacecraft to land on the moon in 50 years. And Odysseus, the 14-foot-tall probe with onboard scanning lasers and cameras made by Texas-based Intuitive Machines, completed the first ever landing by a private company. There is no GPS at the moon, at least not today. So we have to carry our own navigation system on board, and you'll see the two pods on either side of the vehicle. For NASA, this moon landing will focus on exploring the lunar surface, collecting data, taking new video of the Milky Way galaxy from the moon, leaving behind sculptures of the phases of the moon, and laying the groundwork for future missions. It's preparing us for sending humans uh, to the lunar surface in advance of the Artemis missions. This mission will be a short one. Odysseus runs on solar power. Intuitive Machine says that will run out in 12 or 13 days. On board this spacecraft, NASA instruments to study the lunar surface, some artwork, and a small astronomical telescope. As we heard, NASA plans to have this mission be, among other things, a test run to once again send humans to the moon. Target date, 2026. Scott Budman, NBC, Bay Area News.